Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to look at animation retargeting. So I'm just going to go to the animation menu and create an IK retargeter. We're going to pick one of these IK rigs that we created in the last video. There's a link in the description if you haven't seen that. I'm just going to call this the Mage to Manny 89 IK retargeter. Now we can open this and set the target character IK rig. And because of the way we made the IK rigs with standard bone names, most of them will auto match. If we click on this button here, then we can go to the asset browser and check one of these animations and immediately you'll notice a problem. To understand why this is happening, we have to look in Blender first. If I display the deform bones by shift clicking on this layer, I can zoom in on, on the hand like so. And you can notice that these fingers all have a metacarpal bone at the top uh, in the Unreal Engine 5 mannequin. But if we look at the same thing in the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin, uh, let's just zoom in on the hand over here. You'll see that we have fingers, but we don't have any metacarpal bones. Going back to Unreal Engine, we can open up the retargeter again. If we look at chain mapping, you'll notice that it assigns a chain to the metacarpal bones because the original animation does not have any metacarpals because it's based on the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin. We just have to uh, unset these and uh, that should fix the problem. Also note that the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin has only one twist bone in the upper and lower arms each. So we could set these to none. There's nothing to copy from the original. We could also set all of them to none because uh, the twist bones are procedurally animated in Unreal Engine 5 mannequins. So we could do that, but I'm just going to leave that there. The post process will overwrite whatever values it picks up from the original in any case. But if you disable the post process, you're going to want to set these chains up correctly. Now I'm going to pause the video and fix the right side of this character. With the right side completed, we can review this list to see what changes were made. And in the asset browser, we can test different animations and we'll see that we get fairly good results. You may be able to make some improvements with by editing the default pose because they're different between Unreal Engine 4 and Unreal Engine 5. But with IK rig based uh, retargeting, there's always going to be a bit of variation. I've also rigged this Unreal Engine 4 mannequin in Blender and exported it to the engine using UEFI. Back in the engine, I've created yet another IK retargeter for this uh, UE4 mannequin, exactly the same way as we did the other one. And you'll see that the animations for this one play out even better because the default pose is exactly the same. Now what we can do is uh, select all of these animations, click on export selected animations, select and export folder, and then just click OK and give this a moment. This creates a new copy of the animation pack, and that can be something of a problem. If your animation pack is 50 megabytes and you have 50 characters, that's 2.5 gigabytes of storage space required for copies of the same animation pack. So we need some way of sharing these animations without creating a new copy for every character. If we look at the deform bone hierarchy for this character, you'll see that it is a match for the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin. There are four bones in the spine, two bones for the neck and head, and there are no metacarpal bones for the fingers. We can import this character into Unreal by doing import, selecting the file, doing open. And now because the hierarchy matches the previously imported Unreal Engine 4 mannequin that was rigged in Blender and then brought into the engine using UEFI. I'm going to select that skeleton that was created the first time around and you have you can watch the step-by-step -step process in one of the previous videos. I'll leave a link in the description. So I'm going to select the previously created UE4 man skeleton that we created when we imported this character instead of leaving this to none and letting this character create its own. And now I can do, do import and let this finish. Now do note there is no new skeleton created this time around. So let's go to the anims and let's uh, look at some of these animations. So if we go to one of these previously retargeted animations for the mannequin, we can just go into drop down into the preview mesh and change it to our other character and it's going to work just fine. Uh, you do need to take note of one thing. If you're sharing animations like this, you go to the skeleton onto which the animations were retargeted, open it, uh, go to the skeleton tab, make sure you show retargeting options and set this to skeletons at the root to animation and set the pelvis to animation scaled. So that'll fix any 
uh, weird issues you might be having. So we need to do this. And now, uh, without creating a new copy of any of these animations, all of them are going to work for our new character without us having to do anything. And it is just perfect. Now this will work for any number of characters. So in fact, let's just build, bring in another one. We can do import, select the file, open. Again, this uh, character also matches the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin bone hierarchy with the blender based roles. So I'm just going to select the same skeleton onto which the uh, animations were retargeted previously and then just import this and again, go back to our animations, uh, select any one of them. And uh, from the preview mesh, we can also select this new character and all of these animations are going to be working for this one as well. If we want to add another IK pack, we can go to rigs, create a new IK retargeter, select the IK rig for that animation pack. And again, it's in the description, a link on how to create these. Uh, so this will be the source. IK uh, rig that we've selected there. We can rename this retargeter to whatever we want it to be. Then we can open that and select our target IK rig to be our uh, mannequin UE4 IK rig that we previously created. So again, we can check that these animations are working and we can just do control A to select all, export these animations, uh, select a new folder to place them in and then just let this finish. When it is done, we'll have another copy of the animation pack. But if we open these animations, you can see that it is going to work immediately with all of the characters that we imported against this skeleton. So this is going to save us a lot of space in the end. There may be circumstances where you want to have a separate skeleton. Uh, just in case you want to do some modifications or it has some special requirements but otherwise this is a good way of sharing animations for this character if you notice the deform chain you'll notice that it has one two three four bones for the neck and head chain and it has four bones for the spine now four bones of the spine matches the Unreal engine 4 mannequin so that's fine but this uh four bones for the neck and head exceed what is in the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin. It also does not match uh, the Unreal Engine 5 mannequin. So it's six bones for the spine in the Unreal Engine 5 mannequin, three for the neck and head. It doesn't match that. It doesn't match the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin. So what that means is for a character like this, you will need to uh, have it in its own skeleton. When we import this character in Unreal Engine 5, we can do import, select the file, do open, and we're going to make sure we leave skeleton to none because it doesn't match either of our two mannequins. And then we can do import, but, and this is going to create a new skeleton. Uh, the next time you want to import a, another character that has this same skeleton, you can use this as the archetype and then we can share animations on this skeleton for this whole group of characters. At this point, we can create an IK rig and IK retargeter object for this skeleton, and we can retarget the same animation packs onto this skeleton as well. And I hope you will be able to do that by now. I've tried to add as much details as I can in this video. I hope you liked it. Please uh, subscribe and hit the like button if you did. And thank you for watching.